hello everyone in this video we will talk about multiple headers with lazy column in chapter compose so here you can see we have a list of data and you can notice here we have a type okay uh, like we have animal flowers and furniture type i want all this similar type will come under animal if they have animal type if they have a lotus they have flower type so they come under flower and if they have furniture they come under furniture type okay so what i mean here you can see uh, we have some list of data and there, there are type animal flower and furniture and uh, uh, under this type we have some list of data so this is what i want to create and all these uh, things are in the same lazy column we did not create a different lazy column for that so let's see how we can create this in jpeg compose so i already created some list of data just let me create a composable function first so i created a composable function so first you have to create a lazy column okay so first task our first task will be group all the similar type in a list or a map something okay so what i mean let create a variable like group item something group items uh, group items and just call item list dot group by something and here it will return uh, the list of data something so it will return a you know an object basically so call it dot and call type here so what this will do it will arrange all the similar type to this variable so when you hover on this uh, variable we have map of string or list of items so what it will do suppose we have a type animal so in the string we will have an animal type and the and in the list of item we will have tiger lion and deer something okay so this is how it will arrange all the data so now we have all the uh, similar type uh, in this group item so what we have to do after that create pass a for each loop here and when you pass for each loop here it will return a map of string something so what you can do here let us type uh, type type and uh, some list of data some items and call this say so in the type we will have animal flower or furniture anything okay and the list of items and in the items we will have all the list of data so, okay so like uh, suppose we have animal type so in the animal type we have a tiger lion and deer or one more thing monkey so this will uh, come here okay in the group items uh, first we have to create a header and in the header we have a list of data something so uh, what we will do we will create an item here and in the row composable function we can call suppose text and we have text something just call it here like type when you call type it will just uh, the whatever type it is it will show here okay just call something uh, and in the font weight property is called 700 that's it okay and also uh, to show uh, like the length of the uh, list basically so here you can see we have four three three something uh, items so we also have to show this items also so just pass text another text copy this here and paste it and uh, here you can pass items dot uh, length basically or size so when you pass size it will okay just call because it's a variable uh, it's a int call this and call this okay that's fine and here you can pass color will be your black and uh, here pass color will be your black so we have created the header part and if you want to uh, give some space so in the upper part you can give some space here here you can give some space like header 20.tp something and uh, in the items so we have created the header part okay and after that you have to 
show list of data so for the list of data we have to call items uh, function here we call item function and uh, in just call this part list part so here we have to pass the list of items so call item here you can items okay because it is uh, it is return it return the items part here so just call this part and here you can also pass key it dot id and uh, in the item part just show uh, text and uh, it dot name just pass modifier so, uh, vertically 10 dot dp is something so now we have some list of data showing okay so now we have completed this part let me run this and let's see what will be the output so here we can see we have animal flower and furniture is showing okay that is perfect there is no issue with the code but uh, here you can see uh, we want uh, this uh, arrow up and down when we click on the on this it will hide or it will show okay so this type of things i want to add okay so let's see how we can add this part so when you uh, okay so for that we will go in the header part uh, so in the header part just uh, call this row here and in the row part just provide modifier to weight uh, 1f give weight 1f and uh, here you can pass icon button something okay down something and call this i guess it's done here as you can see it is looks perfect here but i want to when we click on this button it should hide or show okay so how we can add these type of functionality in that uh, uh, lazy column so for that we have to create a variable so for that we have to create a mutable state variable but uh, it is of type of basically it is a type of map okay so what i mean and uh, let me tell you just create a variable here uh, where uh, is show variable and call remember and remember and here call mutable state map of something you have to call this and it is of type of string and a uh, boolean so what this mean basically so so what i want we will store in the string part we will store the type basically the animal flower and furniture type and and in the boolean part we will store the true false value so if the value is true of this type it will uh, show the data otherwise if it is false then it will hide that data so how we can do this so let me just put the condition here in in the icon button here you can see in the icon button uh, i want put the condition here if uh, is show and here in here we have to pa uh, pass the type so uh, your type will be your type will come from type here so you can just pass type and put the condition if it is true if it is true then show uh, arrow down otherwise show arrow up uh, keyboard arrow up something okay so this is how we have to do and in the item also in the items part you can also put the condition if uh, is show uh, type type equal to equal to true then you have to show this item otherwise no need to show this item so here you can see right now by default it is taking false value okay it is not true it is taking a false value so i want when i click on this variable it should hide or show something okay so what i can do in the row part here in the row part is called modifier and called a toggable modifier toggable toggable modifier and it basically it takes three value on value change and the role part the role part you can pass button and in the value part just call is show and pass type equal to true or not okay 
so it will check like it is true or not uh, so if it is true then it will show the list of data otherwise it will not show and in the all value chain it will update those data so in the show variable of type something you can pass the it here so when you pass it it will uh, you know it, it will update the data it will update the issue variable so what of like so now you can see when we click on the uh, on any of the type it shows all the list of data here and when you click again it will hide all the data so here you can see when i run the application by default it is hide all the data is hide okay why because uh, the issue variable uh, all the type has false value right now by default it is false value i want by default it all the types should have uh, you know the true value okay that, so that it can show all the data so what we how we can do this okay it's a very easy thing just call launch effect and in the launch effect just part unit okay here so what this launch effect does when i run the application for the first time this launch effect will run it run only one time and in the in this launch effect we will write the logic uh, to uh, to put uh, is show variable to true okay so what we can do is pass is show here and is show dot uh, just apply things here and uh, in the item list we just associate associate it to true so just put it dot type here okay here you can see so it dot type means we have a string and i'm passing all the type to true basically all the type to true and it is not stored right now in the show variable so if you want to store in the show variable you have to call also is call also and call put all function when you call put all because put all method will be called with any map of in any mutable state map of or a map uh, you know map data type so call put all and pass it here so when you pass it here you can see when i run the application again by default all the item is showing here by default so this will solve our problem so this is how we have to you know this is how we have to create multiple headers in lazy column okay so here you can see i have only created a only one lazy columns and in the all in the lazy columns we have all the uh, you know all the list of data something 